Hi everyone, this is a training video brought to you by Cora Group. During this video, we'll demonstrate how to carry out a resection in Trimble Access. So resection or, or free station as it's also known is a function used to perform a station setup to determine coordinates for an unknown point by making a number of observations on the backside points. In Trimble Access, we use a least squares algorithm to calculate the resection. For other similar videos on Trimble Access, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, Correct Training and Support, and feel free to browse our website, correctgroup.com. Okay, so this is a resection using the Trimble S5 total station and the TSE7 controller. So if I go into my main menu here in Trimble Access, and go to measure, and then into VX and S series, and then resection. Instrument point name on a resection is the actual instrument setup, which is usually a free station. So I'm going to call this FS1. FS1 for free station 1. And my code here, I'm going to use that free station code that I have. So instrument height on a resection is generally zero unless you actually need. Um, the elevation of the point you're set up over in my case I'm just set up as a, as a free station so compute station elevation box is checked if you want the residual in the in the 3d in the elevation if you just require to um, x and y residuals so you can uncheck that box in my case here I'm going to go to x y and z accept that and the first point is your first um, point on a resection so I can either key this in or go in here and select from a list. So I have a combination here of retro targets and um, prisms. So my, the first point I want to measure here is called S3. So if I select S3, um, this is actually a prism. So if I just tap on my prism icon and make sure I have the right prism selected. This is a Trimble 360 prism. So I'm going to lock onto that. Target locked. Two indications you're locked on is the little tool station icon with a solid black line and you can see the little padlock there on the on the prism symbol. So once you're locked on you have the right control point selected there. Angles and distances is your method. Target height in my case is zero. I can hit measure. Observation stored. Okay so no target. My next station is a retro target, so I'm going to cite this manually. Target locked. It does actually lock on to the retros too, but I'm going to disable the auto lock. I'm going to cite on manually. This is retro 1, so again, I can either just key this in or select from the list. Now I just have to change because this is a retro target. I'm going to change this to target DR. Again, method is angles and distance, and target height is zero. Hit measure. Observation stored. Okay, so after two points, I do get results. So you can see here easting four mil, northing four, elevation one, orientation. Okay, so. I'm going to go with one more point. The orientation isn't great, so if I use retro number three, maybe. So let's just side on to this. Okay, so to add another point on your resection, you can just hit escape. And I hit the plus point. Again, you can go into your list. Just select retro three. Angles and distance is target height zero. It's fine. Measure that. Out of tolerance. It's okay. You can store another. Observation stored. So it's okay. So you can see it's. Residuals have dropped a little bit, so easting 3 mil, northing 3, elevation 1, my orientation is 
it off in 36 seconds. So you can see I've surrounded my setup there with the control using S3, Retro 1 and Retro 3. Another one maybe between Retro 3 and S3 would be, would be nice to have. It might decrease the residuals there even more. But in this case, um, I'm happy enough with that so I can hit the store. Station setup completed.